Hello everyone, welcome back. So as you know, I'm not allowed to film anything by whatever their name is. But I don't actually work for them and this lorry belongs to JM Dean Transport Limited. So while I'm in it, I am fine. And guess who's back? It's Rick. Rick is back, say hello Rick. Hello Rick. No, say hello nice. He, he can't say hello nice. He's just stupid. I don't even know why I tried talking to him. So there you are. We're back. I haven't got a clue what we're going to be filming. But who knows? Something might pop up. And uh, we'll film it. So meantime, me and Rick. There he is over there. We're going to carry on trucking. And delivering this stuff. I'm not even going to mention what it is. Because you guys know it ain't custard on delivery, man. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, I've been away for a couple of weeks. I've been doing archaeology with Cotswold Archaeology. If you want to see some of that, what we've been doing, you can look online with um, Twitter and Instagram and YouTube, and um, you can look at stuff on there because uh, I've had to sign a bit of paper to say that I'm not going to be putting any of my own stuff that I have filmed onto uh, the uh, social media is they want to be able to do it themselves and so that's what they've done they have done a good job to be perfectly honest so you can have a look at Cotswold Archaeology on uh, Twitter on their own website and on Instagram and you can have a look at the stuff that we've been doing in uh, Kelmscott in Oxfordshire and that mine tea in Sirencester and uh, you'll get to see some of the finds that we saw and found in Kelmscott and the Roman kiln in Sirencester so uh, if you like your history stuff like I do have a peek and enjoy really now I'm going to get back to my day of chucking this stuff around not a lot happening at the moment to be perfectly honest it has been tipping it down the rain and everything's somewhat rather wet so we're just going to sit here and wait and see what happens so you take care everybody out there there'll be some more stuff coming up later on with the Land Rover I should imagine because the story with that is definitely not finished I'm still waiting for Graham to get back to me with the Ducellier uh, distributor because I'm damn sure that there's something wrong with the insides of that one so I don't know what maybe it's the vacuum advance has gone up the spout or something I, I really don't know so uh, he's going to lend me a distributor I'm going to plunk that one on when I get it and see what it does also got a head gasket kit and Graham's going to lend me a uh, compression tester and so we're going to have a look to see what the compression's doing inside the cylinders and we'll go from there so apart from that take care of yourselves and i may catch you later on in the week and even dirty